Um, but, you know, I want to take issue with what Bev said about it being a trial drug. It wasn't a trial drug. It's still a trial drug. No, it's I, not a trial drug. Do you, <laughs> you realise that every vaccine that is produced is, in effect, a trial drug? Uh, no, 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 no. This no, is, no, this is, let me, I can't believe no, no. we're still having this no, conversation. No, like, oh, Bev, for the you've love had, of you had God. a long say there, so let everyone else have a say. The smallpox vaccine, when it came out in the 50s, caused myocardia in young men. The polio vaccine, when it came out, it, people died because of the polio virus. In 2008, which isn't that long ago, uh, babies developed febrile seizures because of the MMR vaccine after seven to ten days. There's a mis there, there's, there, you know, we know that vaccines aren't a cure-all for everyone, but, but the bottom line is the COVID vaccine, and this is a guy, he was, he's a guy called Paul Goford, a very, he's the director of vaccine research at the University of Alabama. He says he's never, ever seen a vaccine as effective as COVID. Okay, 90% funding let me finish, Bev. Almost let nobody. Bev, you know, this is what happens. People who disagree with people who, who like you, don't agree with the vaccine. They, you, no one, no what? one is ever allowed to speak. So, oh, what this, me, what people this, were allowed to speak. What over this, me. Well, I'm, I'm trying now. The, the guy, this guy, said 90% decreased risk of infections, 94% effectiveness against hospitalisation. So, whatever you say about well, I, this okay. being a trial drug, it saved lives, and what? you can't get away from that fact. And if people have been damaged by this, I'm very sorry, I really am. And I don't say that glibly or lightly. But the thing is, this vaccine saved many millions of lives. And we know that for a fact. We don't know that for a fact? Yes, we do. I'm so yes, sorry. Yes, we do. But we don't know that for a fact. OK, well, let me tell you, let me tell and, you what and, happened to the people who didn't get the vaccine, the elderly in the care homes. In the first two months of the pandemic, in the first two months of the pandemic, 35,000 elderly people died. In one week, 7,000 elderly people died. They didn't have the vaccine. Later, as, as it progressed and they got the vaccine, those numbers but were not dying. You're not saying parents. the vulnerable should not be vaccinated, are you? This is a very... What we saw in the last two years was people like Carol, who I have a huge amount of respect for, but on this particular... Well, you haven't because you're saying people like Carol, people who thought the vaccine worked and it has worked. People like Carol, who were on those panel shows alongside me, were reading the Daily Mail and they were reading the mainstream oh, media. And in order... Me or anybody else to saying we just this, read one It was paper. absolutely necessary to go and look and find the epidemiologists. And you really think we didn't do that? Didn't. Seriously? Who, uh, yeah, it's so it's, insulting to, to say that a journalist only reads the Daily Mail. I have read umpteen so papers. what do you think of the latest findings of Dr Ryan Cole? What do you think of what Dr Robert Malone has said? What do you, what do well, you I know think? exactly what I think of what Dr Maloney said. He's been on this show and I've said what I think about the guy. Don't try and catch me out about the no, virologists that, I, that Kirsch, I've read. Read I've read the people. as much as These you, if not... aren't going to be on the mainstream media. They just aren't. And I was, I was vilified for, for trying to and Malone to make... has been discredited in many quarters, let me tell you. Oh. Yes, he has. Please. Yes, you he has. That, uh, I, final word, COVID, Benjamin. Do you accept that the COVID vaccine worked? Have you had it yourself? I think in terms of does it work, we are still... We still have no long-term data. And if well, you look at the latest interview, that's with Gert true. Van den Bosch today but, talking about the fact that indiscriminate vaccination different. during a pandemic will cause the mutations. Have you had it? It is still a moving... It is still a Have moving, you had the vaccine? And again, oh, my God. Well, have you? Arrived in, literally arrived in a time machine today. Have, have you? Have not moved on? We're all stupid and you know better. Not a, and you're not a virologist, but you know better. I also very much, and I've maintained this, Did my values and my standards Did on Did you refuse this the issue, vaccine? No. Which is that well, I will never you won't say. publicly answer that question. There have been it's people who... who, who say. There are people who say... It, it's so irrelevant, Carol. It's just ridiculous. It's not irrelevant. OK. I believe the in the is, principle of medical... The truth is, we'd still be in lockdown medical... if everyone had taken that okay. view. Now, exactly. And there let's would be move on. Uh, although I could talk about this all day.